Mexico. Hey, Aaron, just curious, uh, the frustration level with that call on Odor in the ninth, and also it looked like a missed call on Dalback uh, in the 10th, too. Just uh, a lot of stuff happened in the dugout. So your frustration level after this one? Yeah, I mean, obviously very frustrated. Um, and and you saw some of that emotion spill over, obviously. Um, you know, why a second, you know, Mendy was thrown out is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, playing for a lot and, and obviously going through a really tough stretch and, um, you know, some of that emotion spilling over. Did Bill Miller give you an explanation why he – Not a good one. The... Not a good one. Uh, and did you consider – uh, walking Bogarts in the tenth there. No, no. Th thanks, Aaron. Yep. Ken David off. Please unmute. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Arroyo's double in the uh, eighth. Uh, I mean, what did you make of that? Yeah, look. I think you know, just a long way for everyone to run a little bit in that triangle, and, and it just kind of drifted back, and I, I kind of got blocked out by the umpire a little bit. But I think just a long run and looked like overran him maybe a little bit, you know, it was probably working its way back. So you, you don't think that the right field as well? You, you think Clint was I, I'd have to – I haven't seen his jump, uh, you know, and where he had to come from. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Yeah. Brendan Cuddy, you have the next question. Aaron, just at the end of a three-game sweep here with, a, with an off day tomorrow, how do you assess where your team's at right now? Just uh, generally speaking. Yeah, I mean, uh, an awful week for us, culminating in 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 the end of this homestand, um, and we got to get we got to get right, we got to get better, and um, you know, it, it starts now on the road as as we head to Minnesota. Um, you know, a lot of good things happen tonight. Um, you know, able to put some pressure on them early, build a little bit of a lead. Domingo threw the ball well. Um, you know, and then they held us down for a while. A lot of big at bats late, um, but we gotta, you know, we gotta find a way to start scratching out some W's. And uh, you guys are, I think, six and a half back now in the East and uh, fourth place in the East. And it, uh, is it too early to say that you guys are in a backs against the wall position? Look, I mean, there's urgency, but we we we're in control of our season and our destiny, very much so. And um, and and we got to take control of it. Brian Hope, please unmute. Aaron, you've talked about what Phil Nevin means on that bench. Uh, how much concern was there with him uh, getting that fired up with an IV still in his arm going out on the field? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was a little worried about him right there. And, you know, yes, yes, I was concerned for him. You guys all know Phil and how fiery he is. Um, so, yes, I was a little concerned. Uh, we we didn't have a clear view. What preceded that? Like, what was what was Phil doing down there? I, I think it was the Odor call. Right. Yeah. Zach Braziller, <clears throat> you have the next question. Uh, what do you what are you seeing from from DJ right now? Uh, Sixty, I think it's now sixty three at bats without an extra base hit. Um, you know, OPS is well below seven hundred. Yeah. What, the, What's, yeah, you, I, you know, I, I think there's been times, especially over the last 10 days, two weeks, where he's hit into some tough luck, and I feel like really close with his flat swing and, and getting some good swings off. I thought he just missed the ball to right field tonight where he got a good swing off uh, against Richards. You know, so, you know, obviously he's grinding, he worked the walk. Um, so I, I don't think he's that far off. You know, it's just some balls that um, he's stinging are – typically at people and and some of the balls like that last one even the last two you know were you know just didn't quite find that hole where he's he's kind of pushing it through that right side and then up the middle so um yeah he's just grinding right now Lindsay Adler please unmute Aaron, is there sort of a, an organizational rule against using Chapman for more than one inning at this point uh was, no no, no. In, in fact, I was going to use him for four outs there in the eighth, you know, had it been a tie game. Um, and that was part of me not sending him back out for the 10th because he was hot and ready to go in the eighth, uh, obviously pitching the ninth. Um, so 
didn't really want to be his first time going two innings uh, where he was prepared to go a four-out situation had the game remained tied. And you've expressed a lot of confidence in your guys throughout the season. At this point, what what is it that you've seen from them that gives you this confidence? Is it their historic success? That's a big part of That's obviously a big part of it. Um, you know, I, I see the work they're putting in. I see the adjustments certain guys are, are making. Um, you know, I feel like I, I'm seeing, especially uh, with the number of guys, the quality of contact and the at-bat quality picking up, especially this, you know, last week where we're seeing some guys gain some traction. Uh, you know, now we got to get everyone involved, though, because, you know, for our lineup to be heavy, it's got to be uh, one that wears you down, and, and that takes everyone doing a part.